Well, guys, we are coming to the end of Fortnite Chapter 5 Season 3. And as much as I have personally enjoyed this season, I know that a lot of you are going to be happy to see it go. In a lot of ways, I am too. I think that the end of a Fortnite season is always the most exciting time to be a part of the community. There's all this hype generated for the next thing that's coming. And when I look at Fortnite Absolute Doom, there is an insane amount of hype for this. I am personally excited. And as someone who didn't really enjoy the original Marvel theme season, I'm happy that we're gonna get a second one. That way I can kind of re-experience or get another shot at truly enjoying an entire season theme based around a property that I enjoy. Now, even though I'm excited for this, there is one major concern that I have, which I'm gonna share with you towards the end of the video. But before we get there, I need to explain why this season is so necessary. Listen, I don't think there are many people out there that would argue that Fortnite Chapter 5 as a whole is probably the weakest Fortnite chapter of all time. Have there been some cool concepts introduced? Yes, but this has definitely been, without a doubt, the most controversial chapter in Fortnite history. And Season 3 Wrecked, even though I personally like it, I know a lot of you guys like it too it wasn't what the community needed at this point in time in my opinion fortnite gave us a good theme at the wrong time we need something that's going to bring the community together and wrecked was just not it it divided the community in a way in which we haven't seen in a really long time if ever now here's why i'm saying we need absolute doom if you go on fortnite.gg right now i believe the most popular voted season by the community of all time is chapter two season four when cypher did his video on the peak era of fortnite i believe it was a toss-up between fortnite chapter two season two and fortnite chapter two season four people love the marvel theme season and look i get it when it comes to superhero movies the marvel films were definitely the most influential in pop culture over the last 10 years and this is coming from someone that's a huge dc fan i grew up with dc more than i did marvel however i love spider-man i love wolverine i've grown to love deadpool and i've grown to love iron man and the Avengers. And I have to hand it to Marvel, they kicked DC's ass when it came to producing a high quality superhero movie. The only DC films that were really good, like really well written, were the Batman movies that we've had over the last few years. And of course the Joker ones, but that's Batman adjacent. Anyway, what's my point here? It makes sense that a franchise that's had the most cultural significance in the last decade, if not two decades, would be the most popular season of Fortnite. Now, some people are gonna get frustrated that Fortnite is recycling ideas. However, I don't view this as so much recycling as it is an upgrade. Think about all the different things that Fortnite has accomplished since chapter two. The attention to detail and the amount of love that collabs get now compared to how they did back then is day and night. I'll give you one prime example that's not Marvel related. Look at the way anime collabs were handled back in chapter two and look at the way that they're handled now. Back in chapter two, it would have been almost unthinkable to have any super powered anime attack inside of Fortnite, but that all changed when we got the Dragon Ball collab in chapter three. The good old Kameyamama changed everything. And we look at all the other collabs we've had since then, some of the Star Wars stuff, the Spider-Man mythics, Jujutsu Kaisen. There's been so much amazing content that Epic Games has been experimenting with for the last three or four years, and I think it's all been a test bed for the next Marvel-themed season. Epic has had a lot of time to practice working on non-gun-based mechanics to make more involved or more intricate superhero-themed seasons or powers. This is what I thought was always one of the most interesting and unique aspects of Fortnite. Even though it's a gun-based game, they are able to throw in superpowers in a way in which it feels natural or it makes sense into the Fortnite universe or to Fortnite's core gameplay. And with what I'm seeing in this trailer, I couldn't be more excited. I think that there's a good variety of all sorts of different superpowers here and different play styles. I like how Captain America's shield has a solid boomerang effect and ricochets just like it does in the Marvel Cinematic Universe. I like Sherry's claws and how acrobatic she looks when moving around. I like that the Iron Man gauntlets now have more utility than ever. Not only can you use them to shoot at people just like you could before, but now you can fly around not to mention war machine looks absolutely fire honestly i think war machine is the one that i am the most excited for and of course there's our boy dr doom who's gonna have his cool laser powers it's gonna be like another kamea mama i don't care it it just looks awesome i also want to mention how interesting the map looks and the more i look at this trailer the more i'm starting to think that it's resembling the original chapter two island so much more. The island looks more vibrant. It looks more like classic Fortnite. Like it just feels more organic than this current island does. I think the Marvel theme season is gonna add a lot of elements back to Fortnite that we've been missing. And it's gonna be under a theme that the majority of the community is going to enjoy. However, I am curious to see how the competitive players are gonna to respond to this. I don't remember how competitive Fortnite players felt about the original Marvel theme season, so I can't really speak on that. However, I would be inclined to think that a good portion of them probably liked it considering that is the most popular Fortnite season of all time. Now, to be fair, that does not mean that they're gonna like this upcoming season. People's opinions and perspectives on things change. Competitive Fortnite is not the same now as it was 
four years ago. Okay, I'm saying it. <clears throat> if any of this is in comp, we're gonna have some issues. The main thing that I'm hanging on is, are they gonna have the same hatred for this as they did Wrecked. See, back when the season first started, I saw a lot of competitive players saying that Fortnite Wrecked had no place in Fortnite. It was a theme that completely destroyed what Fortnite was at its core. There were even pro players stating that this theme should not have existed inside of pubs. It just has no place belonging in Fortnite outside of an LTM, and obviously, I completely disagreed with this. Now, if that's how you feel, that's fine, but what about superpowers? Do superpowers have a place inside of Fortnite? Is that part of Fortnite's original gameplay pattern or gameplay meta? When you played the first chapter of Fortnite, did you envision yourself flying around shooting laser beams out of your hands? If the answer is no, then I would expect you to have the same hate for this upcoming season or even chapter two, season four, as you did Wreck, because it completely destroys what Fortnite is supposed to be. Ultimately, if driving around in vehicles with weapon attachments has no place in Fortnite, then neither should superpowers. But I'm not sure that the vast majority of competitive players will necessarily agree with that. Personally, I think Fortnite should be able to experiment with just about anything, and that's what makes this game fun. That's why anytime I hear someone saying, if you like this season, you must not like real Fortnite, I just laugh at them because Fortnite can be whatever it wants to be. As I tried to tell Clicks before, the game has always adapted to trends and adjusted what it was depending upon what was popular at the time. Fortnite is the only battle royale that can basically put anything they want inside of the game and make it work. That's why I didn't have a problem with cars because compared to some of the other stuff that we've had in the past, this doesn't seem that ungrounded from what Fortnite really is. It's still gunplay, but it's gunplay with vehicles. But this is not a video to debate the legitimacy of Fortnite Chapter 5 Season 3. We have a million videos on this channel covering that topic. If you want to go check those out, please be my guest. We have tons of content for you to go look at if you have not already. And while you're here, if you've made it this far in the video, go ahead and subscribe to the channel. I love you. Thank you for watching. Now, one thing I do think competitive players would probably agree with me on is that Fortnite is typically at its best when it focuses on its own concepts and ideas. As much as I'm looking forward to this Marvel theme season and I love the collabs inside of Fortnite, I think that the best seasons are always the ones that just come up with original stuff. I say this all the time, but Chapter 2 Season 7 is probably my all-time favorite season of Fortnite ever. It wasn't collab focused, it used its own original ideas, it had an amazing live event, the storyline was good, the loot pool was absolutely amazing, there were tons of new weapons being added that fit the season's theme on top of a bunch of old ones being added back. For the 875,000th time on this channel, Fortnite is at its best when it focuses on its own original concepts. If you want one more example, think back to Chapter 4 Season 1 and the Heisted update. That was all Fortnite original content. Most fun update of Fortnite Chapter 4, in my opinion. Now, to be fair, it could be the case that I'm saying this because I've never had an entire season theme centered around something that I really love. The closest thing I got to it was Optimus Prime and Primal, and well, we all know how that turned out. I would love it if Epic Games gave the Marvel treatment to a completely different IP. Can you imagine if we had an entire Fortnite season based on Transformers. A section of the island could be a part of Cybertron. What if we had a Dragon Ball theme season with an entire battle pass? What if they did a DC theme season, which is something that I know a lot of you guys would like to see? And once again, as someone who's a bigger fan of DC comics than they are Marvel, I could only dream of having Superman and Green Lantern and Captain Marvel, AKA Shazam, and just all these different characters in a single battle pass and just being able to use their powers throughout the course of an entire Fortnite season. I would love that. Imagine being able to zip around as the Flash on the Fortnite island. The only problem is I don't think that this will ever happen. And this was the problem that I alluded to at the start of this video. One of the biggest concerns that I had with Disney partnering so close with Epic Games is that there are a lot of collabs and IPs that we might just not see inside of Fortnite anymore. Or it could be the case that if we do see them, they're just not gonna be given the same love and attention that Disney's IPs are going to be given. And from a business standpoint, it kind of makes sense. As much as I hate the idea of this, I don't see Disney greenlighting Epic Games to give their direct competitors the same billboard space that could be given to their IPs. Think about it like this. If I'm Disney, why would I allow Warner Brothers to occupy market share in one of the most popular video games on the planet? The video game that's known for, in essence, advertising other brands. And this is part of the reason why I call Chapter 5 the start of the corporate era, because of this close-knit relationship that they have with Disney. Now listen, there are gonna be a few people that disagree with what I'm saying, I guarantee you. A lot of you are gonna be like, well, Clark, just because Disney owns 10% of Epic Games or has 10% of shares in Epic Games does not mean that they have creative control. Yes and no. However, it would not surprise me if Disney had some kind of agreement with Epic that says you could not give our direct competitors the same advertisement space that you give us. In other words, you cannot allow 
DC or Warner Brothers to have an entire season themed around their characters and IPs. We do not want Superman having his own season. We do not want Batman having his own season. Instead, you should be giving that to our characters because we're directly invested in your company and we've had a direct relationship with you all the way since the beginning of your game, since chapter one, season four. And if Epic Games ever decided to violate that agreement, Disney would remove some of their biggest IPs from Fortnite. In other words, Disney would prevent Epic Games from being able to use their most popular characters if Epic Games decides to further their relationship with Warner Brothers or DC in any significant way. That is the part that people are ignoring or oblivious to. You don't have to have a majority share in the company in order to have some control or influence over a company. All you have to do is have some of the most popular IPs on the planet and Disney has them in droves. You want access to Wolverine? You want access to Deadpool? You want access to Spider-Man? You want access to Captain America and the Avengers? You want access to Iron Man? You want access to Toy Story or any of these other Disney-related IPs that are beloved by millions of people across the world and will make you heaps and heaps of cash? Well, that's fine. You can have access to them all, but it's going to come at the cost of you building stronger ties or stronger relationships with our direct competitors over at Warner Brothers. We don't want you bringing in another Superman skin. We don't want you to have any more Batman skins. All the collabs that you already have in the game are fine, but we would prefer you to use our IPs and further our relationship and our brand, especially since we're so directly invested in you, than for you to go out to some third party elsewhere that doesn't have as much investment in you. I mean, we invested 10%, whereas what have they done for you recently? You guys kind of see what I'm getting at here? Now listen, guys, I am praying that I am wrong. I'm hoping that at some point we will get a DC theme season, but with all these new collaborations being announced at D23 between Epic and Disney, I just don't see it happening. You will get Cruella inside of Fortnite before you see another Superman skin or a Green Lantern, and that saddens my heart. I don't think it's an accident that we haven't seen any new DC releases in, I think, probably about a year? Maybe even a little bit longer than that if I'm really thinking about it. Regardless, we just have to wait and see what happens. Only time is going to tell, but I am looking forward to this next season in spite of what I just said. Yes, is Fortnite becoming more Disney-centric, more Marvel-centric? Sure. but there are a lot of other IPs that we have to enjoy inside of the game and core gameplay is still fun. And this next season looks absolutely amazing. And I am hyped. I don't want to burst anyone's bubble with the potential of what Fortnite can be or with what's going on next season. I think that with what I'm seeing right now, Fortnite chapter five, season four might bring the community back together, which is what we really need right now. And then after this, we'll go into chapter two OG and then we'll see what chapter six has in store for us. But until then, I want to make sure everybody here is listening to my voice and subscribe to the channel because we've got a lot of banger content coming up over the next few weeks. As a matter of fact, we're having live streams all week this week. And at the end of every live stream, I'm giving away 13,500 V-Bucks. We actually gave away 13,500 V-Bucks last night. And not to mention, I'm also giving away V-Bucks over the course of the streams as well. So it's not just the 13,500 are giving away. There's other V-Buck prizes that you can win throughout the course of the stream. So come through, come hang out, be a part of the community, be a part of the family. In order to participate, make sure you're in my Discord. You're gonna need to be in there. Link will be down in the pinned comment down below. Guys, I love y'all. I'm excited for Fortnite Chapter 5 Season 4, but how are you feeling about it? Let me know, and I'll catch y'all soon. Peace out.